Have you ever felt like you're just a supporting character in your own love story? Stick around because today we're diving into five actionable ways to make your partner feel seen and appreciated every single day. Welcome back to the Strength of Seduction podcast, the number one resource for black couples who want to build intimacy, love, and connection in their relationship. I'm your host, Daniel DiPiazza. Now, if you are new and you're just watching this for the first time on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for updates. And if you're listening to this on your favorite podcast platform like Apple or like Spotify, make sure to subscribe and leave a review. Now, let's get into today's video. Let's just talk about feeling seen, heard, and appreciated. Before we jump into our five actionable ways, I want to set the stage. Relationships are like gardens. They require constant care and attention. And one of the most important nutrients you can give your relationship is the feeling of being seen and heard and appreciated. Now, let's dive into it. I want to talk about the first way that you can do this with your partner, and it's verbal affirmations. Now, you might be thinking, look, I compliment my partner all the time, but here's the thing. Compliments and affirmations are not, I repeat, not the same thing. Just to give some context here, compliments are kind of like fast food. They're quick, they're easy, they're momentarily satisfying. But affirmations, oh no, no, they are home cooked. They're the home cooked meal of relationship communication, right? So compliments versus affirmations. Compliments are surface level. They're like, oh, hey, you look nice today. But affirmations go deeper. They're about acknowledging your partner's qualities, their dreams, their fears, really coming to it from a place of understanding them. And you can try daily affirmations with your partner. So for instance, make it a habit to affirm your partner. It could be something as simple as saying, I really appreciate how hard you work for us. Or I love how you make me laugh when I'm feeling down. These get to the core of what someone is at their essence, not just a surface level compliment. You can even create affirmation cards and you can leave them around the house for your partner to find. You know, each card can have a different affirmation, like you make our home a really happy place. These really get to the core of why you love that person. Now, next up, let's talk about active listening. And this is a game changer, folks. And just to give us some background here, listening is more than just a passive activity, okay? It's an active engagement. It's not just about ears. It's about the heart and the mind, too. So I want to talk to you guys about the mirror technique. Now, this involves repeating back what your partner has said to ensure that you've understood them correctly. And it shows that you're engaged and that you care about what they're saying. This is so important, especially when navigating conflicts. There's also something that you can work on called the 20-minute 20, 20 conversation exercise. And basically, the whole idea is to dedicate 20 minutes a day to talk without distractions. No phones, no TV just you and your partner. You can even do listening challenges. You can challenge yourself to do a listening date where one person talks and the other person just listens. And then you switch roles. And it's harder than it sounds, but it's incredibly rewarding just to feel heard. Now, a third thing you can do for your partner is called appreciation rituals. And let's talk about what these are. These are little traditions that you can start that focus solely on showing your appreciation for each other. And, you know, rituals are the backbone of any strong relationship. They gave us something to look forward to. They gave us something to make the ordinary moments extraordinary. I love having rituals with my wife. And one of the things you can do is called a weekly appreciation dinner. You can use one dinner a week to talk about what you appreciate about each other. Just go full in on what you really love. You can even do something called the gratitude jar. You can write down something you're grateful for about your partner and you can drop it in a jar. And at the end of the month, you can have basically like a gratitude night where you read all the notes. And you'd be surprised how these things really add up. Just the little things. You can even do appreciation texts. Just send a random text in the middle of the day just to say that you appreciate something about your partner. It could be anything from, you know, I love you to thanks for taking out the trash this morning. It's the simple things that add up that really show that you're paying attention, that you care. Now let's talk about the importance of small gestures because before we wrap, I want to really hammer this point in. It's not about the big gesture, it's about the small gestures. And sometimes it's really the littlest thing that makes the biggest impact. You know, in the hustle and bustle of our everyday lives, it's easy to overlook the small things, but often it's those things that hold the most weight. I know that certainly applies to me and my relationship. And one thing you can do is just leave a surprise note in their lunch bag if they take it to work or under the pillow. 
You can even do just random acts of kindness for your partner, you know, doing a chore for them that you know they hate or that you know they're too busy for, um, taking out the trash, another one that just comes to mind, or, or doing the dishes, just simple things. You can even give them just because gifts, you know, every once in a while, just surprise them with a small gift that shows you were thinking of them, something personal, something that they've mentioned. It doesn't have to be expensive. It's really all about the thought. Now, the last thing I want to mention is just quality time. And this is last, but certainly not least, because we're talking about all these things that will really make your partner feel seen and heard. And I think this is the most valuable thing we can give them, our time. You know, how we choose to spend it speaks volumes about what we truly value as an individual and what we value about our relationship. And the first thing you can do is just schedule date nights, you know, make it a point to schedule regular date nights, even if it's just a movie at home. You guys can even find shared hobbies that you like, you know, find a hobby that you both enjoy and you spend time doing it together. It could be cooking or hiking or even just binge watching a TV series. You know, what's your favorite series you're watching right now? These are all great things to do with each other as quality time. And you can even have a morning and evening ritual, you know, create a morning or evening routine that you guys do together, like making coffee in the morning or a skincare routine at night. It's a simple way to start and end the day together. And these are all the things you can do to get closer to your partner and make them feel seen and heard. So if you love today's content, make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube as well as on your favorite podcast platform for weekly tips to make your relationship happier, to make your relationship healthier and more intimate. And all the links are below in the video description or in the podcast notes if you're listening to this on the podcast. And if you haven't already, make sure you join our free newsletter at www.strengthofseduction.com and follow us on Instagram at Strength of Seduction for more. Once again, I'm Daniel DiPiazza, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.